We are here at ICRA 2016 in beautiful Stockholm. ICRA is the largest robotics conference uh, in the world. Researchers meet to talk about the latest technology industries here, like KUKA, and we are showing off our latest products that are available for researchers. So this time we have three cool exhibits here at ICRA. One exhibit dealing with machine learning, another exhibit dealing with energy optimized path planning, and a third exhibit dealing with mobile manipulation. The demo I'm standing right in front of is um, a machine learning demonstration, so we can see how we can build intelligent robot applications by using machine learning techniques. The application starts with the demo phase. We have to show the system what objects are being sorted to the left box and which objects are being sorted to the right box. And this is done by showing uh, a set of training examples and manually labeling them by uh, touching the robot into a direction. And then later I will use this trained model to have the robot sorting unknown objects by itself. The vision system is uh, detecting the scene, it's detecting the objects and it's extracting features from the objects such as uh, the color, the area, and the height of these objects. And then if I, for example, use uh, in the training phase only red objects and put them to the left box and all other objects to the right box, then um, the learning algorithm learns that the red color is the significant feature for this particular sorting application. We, together with KUKA, have been working in an EU project called Arius. The project has been focusing on how engineers can develop uh, new automation systems uh, and taking sustainability into considerations. So we, together with KUKA, have been focusing on uh, how the robots can be more energy efficient. So what our optimization work does ex uh, specifically is that it takes the original trajectory from an already existing trajectory, optimizes it, turns it, uh, gives it back to the system uh, without changing the cycle time. And we can use the whole optimization as a cloud-based service. This Agilos robot that we have in here is a compact and extremely fast robot which we used in a final stage of our work. And we used it to validate our results uh, in terms of uh, minimizing the energy consumption and minimizing the peak power. In general, on the trajectories that we have tested and on the robots that we have tested, um, we, uh, we have uh, got about a 30% reduction in energy consumption and up to 60% reduction in peak power, which is pretty significant. The demo shows the U-Bot in a box. It's a concept study that should show that robotics on your desk is fun. It is intended for the research and education market and it's a very mobile, easy to transport system. It offers you all the capabilities of a real-time capable system and it supports our Sunrise real-time architecture. Researchers can very easily now learn uh, how to program real industrial robots and they don't need to worry about um, all the different uh, languages that are out there. So if you ever want to use a new KUKA robot, you can use the Sunrise system and with the Sunrise Workbench you have all the tools available for you to program and learn with that. So um, instead of having uh, a big robot in your lab, you can just try it out on a smaller one and then scale up to the bigger robots. We think it's a great opportunity to network with the research community and KUKA very much is based on the new technology to stay a technology leader in robotics. So we really have to engage with the academic community and see what is the best practice available. So ICRA has always been an important event for KUKA. We keep on coming back as we need to maintain the close relationship to our researchers around the world. Intelligence.